the 1st of December 2011 is when I started it um, and I suppose we're one, one month into it now um, 12 hours a day every day I know Christmas <laughs> and I went in and basically um, I signed a lot of papers and they gave me a loan of it so because you need licenses to transport you, you know because it's money it's it's cash and so they, they, they supported me and they said, yeah. To, so I went over to the Mint and I collected two trailerfuls <laughs> of shredded notes, 1.4 billion euro. Well, now the way the calculator would be, these bricks here, they're six inches by two inches. So these bricks here, 48, 50,000, the equivalent of notes used in them. So you calculated there's 800 bricks on the front, there's, the shredded would be 200 inside. So calculating it um, and how many bricks I have. Well, it was true. A friend of mine actually, um, God rest his soul, he, he committed suicide based on the, 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 the bubble bursting, you know, uh, with his businesses and things like that. And he just took it really bad and he, he decided to end it, you know, and that really upset me. And um, I had my own difficulties with, with, with revenue. Um, uh, and I, would, I mean, it's, it's, it's buttons to all compared to people we know that, that have oh, billions and that but they went they, they got really heavy with me and they came after me and they were looking for my car and my furniture and they really terrorized the family you know and i just thought wow for six thousand euro like it was unbelievable and i'm sitting in my, my my studio and i'm sitting and having my feet up on a box with four million euro in it <laughs> of shredded notes you know and i just thought you know god this is just paper this is just like, people committing suicide there's people you know, just the craziness of it and the whole thing. There was, and, you know, I felt there was no debate, there was nothing going on, you didn't have a say. You know, ordinary people just don't have a say. And uh, people are getting very frustrated. And so I just felt there needs to be a debate on this. There needs to, there needs to these kids in, in schools need to come down and see and get talking about it and, you know, get people in to give talks and things like that. And to really kind of get the debate going on, you know, what, what does it mean? What does currency mean? What is the, you know, currency can't be you know, the hold on everything. It can't be, you know, it's taking people's lives, it's, it's ruining people. People are very nervous. They won't even talk about it today, you know? I mean, it all, it all started off sort of doing a fundraiser at the exhibition. Um, I have a treatment center for uh, drug abuse in, in, in Thailand. I, I set up, uh, uh, I built a five bedroom. Another build I don't build, but I built with pallets actually. Mm -hmm. uh, a monk out in Thailand in a monastery gave me his mother's house to have the centre in, so I've built it, and the whole idea was to try and sell a bit of art and get people that are on the margins here, that are kind of like on the streets and, and methadone, call whatever, and they can't get treatment. Or have been through all the treatment centres and haven't worked for them and that, and get them over and get them. It's a it's a detox centre in the in the monastery, and then I have an aftercare facility. So all the stuff that I'm doing was centred around getting funding to get that together. So any paintings or anything that I sell is contributing towards getting people over there and getting that getting that set up and going, you know. I've always known I, I was quite creative. I wasn't aware how creative I could be. I obviously didn't know I could build anything. So I, I suppose it's, it's, it's kind of given me a new lease in, in the sense that I could try anything, you know. And, you know, around art, you know, it's, it, it, it's, um, it's therapy.